Robert Downey because he's wildly intelligent and witty and, and spontaneity with his humour is unlike any other. Well, Chris Evans has played a superhero a couple of different times, so let's go with him, yeah. Mark Ruffalo. He's smart, he's intelligent, he's, 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 there's a massive heart and he should be in Congress. Maybe that's, that's not, he's not the kind, of, the, the kind of person you'd necessarily see in that scenario, but what a benefit it would be if someone like him was kind of running the show. Chris Evans, probably. Ah, Chris Pratt, there you go. Chris Pratt, yeah. Wildly enthusiastic and, and energetic and, and hilarious and loves kind of having a good time and, and gathering the crew together and kicking it off. Anthony Mackie. <laughs> He's a charming man. We got uh, uh, Tom Holland. Yeah. He was a, a gymnast for many years and his the agility and speed and whatever is, 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 is pretty insane. Paul Rudd and Scarlett Johansson. Because <laughs> I was just in the room with them right now and they seem to have good chemistry and they're, <laughs> they're both just lovely people. Me. Because I'd like to. <laughs> I, don't, I haven't really worked out my mode of transport yet or any way getting there, but... I'd be down for it, that'd be cool. Mark Ruffalo, mm -hmm. this is, you know, incredibly charitable and, and, and empathetic and, and, and aware of, you know, the, 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 the other people's situations and how he could help and, I don't know, he's a very selfless person. It's a scratch and sniff uh, tattoo of Robert Downey's face. In my face, just on their back, just because it would be ridiculous and, 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 and wildly regrettable for all of them. I mean, I loved hanging with the Guardians in Infinity War. I loved that experience, that was so cool. I mean, each time you kind of interact with a different crew or set of actors or characters, it, it brings out something different in yourself and your performance. And uh, I'd, I'd like to kind of chill with them. That'd, that'd, that'd be a lot of fun. We'd go anyway, yeah, and they're kind of from outer space as well. So we'd have a familiarity and very different, unique personalities and sort of mashed up together would have some cool, fun conflict. I'd love to do that. I'd love to see Daryl Moore. I'd love to do a little uh, as the mockumentary TV show of us living together and, and rooming together and uh, our day-to-day -day adventures outside of saving the world, just sort of the regular stuff. That's, I thought that was a lot of fun to shoot and also I think it'd be cool to, <laughs> to have a TV show like that, yeah. Surfing, fishing, we got a pub. It'd be good fun. Taking to Asgard and, you know, I think you explore that world, yeah. Asgard works, that's what I meant by home. <laughs> Let's say uh, Black Panther, Chadwick Boseman. I don't think Thor and him have hung out before. And uh, I think they'd get along. I think they'd have I think they'd have some fun. Yeah, maybe it'd be more fun just for us to go and do something completely different. He's just, he's just a great guy, very kind, and just a lot of fun to work with, you know? So we'd do something different, yeah. I think it was on uh, Avengers, uh, Avengers 1 or 2 where <coughs> it was the original six trying to get, we had like one line each in the, in the scene, pretty simple thing. And we just couldn't get it together. We just kept cracking up and laughing. And then Joss Whedon, who was directing, was just exhausted and was just getting angrier and angrier. But the angrier he got, the funnier it got. And it was like being back in high school. And it was one of those moments where you're like, nothing's changed, you know, no matter what age you, you know, you're at or what point of life that's that, that sort of inherent quality to, when you're not supposed to laugh, you laugh even more. It was pretty strong. I mean, probably nothing, you know, because I, I, I feel incredibly proud and thankful to be here, you know, in this film and in this situation. And, and I don't know, I'd, I'd be worried that if I changed something, it would, you know, redirect the course of this whole experience. And, and I I'm, I'm, couldn't be happy with where it is now. Whose first role was in a West End musical? Mmm, I'm gonna say Benedict Cumberbatch. Spider-Man. Is it Tom Holland? A coupon? That sounds really like a strange, weird, what the hell is a coupon salesman? I'm trying to now think who, who passed on, <laughs> who died. Um, that sounds like a shady job. I'm gonna say Mark Ruffalo. Zoe Saldana. One of the Guardians. Oh, the Guardians, Chris Pratt? Yes. Oh, that makes sense. That seems insulting. Ah, this is easy. What else you got? Oh, it's got to be uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. Yeah, that makes sense too. Cancer. 
There you go. This whole secretive thing, it's just not my style. I, it gives me a lot of anxiety. So I'm very much looking forward. I will be celebrating not only the premiere of the Avengers, but the fact that people, I can actually not have to keep these crazy secrets anymore. I can't take it. I was gonna say, he's the worst to keep this. Mark Ruffalo is the worst. He's so bad. He's like embarrassingly bad. And I, and it, I think they've got him under control now. They really had to like, it was, he's, he's a security risk for sure.